Hey guys, this is Dhruv Nawabi out here and today I want to talk to you about Samsung DeX. Now very few of the people who actually own the Samsung devices that support DeX mode actually know what Samsung DeX is. And of the people that do, almost none know of the developments and progress that have taken place with this feature set. Samsung DeX is a really cool feature that enables one to use a Samsung phone as a full-fledged desktop computer. It has an interface similar to Windows and Mac OS and it does almost everything that these computers do. The reason for its failure being that when Samsung launched DeX mode almost two years ago, they insisted that you use a rather expensive and very unnecessary accessory to make use of this feature that almost nobody purchased. And then Huawei came up with a very similar feature without the accessory, which made use of a very simple and very cheap USB-C to HDMI cable. Samsung spent almost a year playing catch up and they finally launched the dock-free cable-based DeX mode earlier this year with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which is expected to arrive on the Samsung S9 and maybe the Samsung 8 series via our software update. So let's check it out. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy S9 on the left and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 on the right. We have a television screen, any monitor, any display that supports HDMI or USB-C for that matter, really. And we have a cable, a very basic cable that you can get on Amazon for really cheap, really easily. I'll attach the link for this one below in the description. On one end, it has a USB-C. In one end, it has an HDMI. The USB-C end obviously goes into the phone and the HDMI into the television. Let's just check out the software versions on both the devices really quickly. So you can see right here that the S9 is on Android version 8.0 and Samsung Experience 9.0. But the Note 9 is ahead by a little bit on Android version 8.1 and Samsung Experience 9.5. So let's see exactly what this means for the desktop experience. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and you can see that the television screen behind is showing no signal. I'm going to power it on and now I'm going to plug it in. And immediately you can see that the screen behind comes alive. And if I pull down the notification shade, I will see this card right here that says I can use my phone as a touchpad. So I'm going to hit on that. And the phone starts behaving like an input device. So let me just take you to the desktop mode now. You can see that I'm controlling the mouse. Just a quick little demonstration, I'll open the browser. And we're on the browser page. And if I open, I don't know, let's say Google, it opens up perfectly. We'll just quickly check out YouTube. Opens right up. Oh yeah, when I hit on YouTube, then it asks me to open the app as opposed to opening it within the browser. I can move the window around with two finger scrolling. Works perfectly. And there you have it, desktop mode on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So now moving on to the Samsung Galaxy S9, let's see what happens. We have the phone here. I'm going to connect it now.
And you can see that the screen behind starts mirroring the phone because the Samsung S9 on the 9.0 Samsung Experience OS does not have DeX mode available over a USB-C cable. So if you connect it with the USB-C to HDMI cable, all you get is this mirroring mode right now. This is of course something we hope to see change with the software update. But in the meantime, let's keep our fingers crossed. A big shout out to Biology Mobiles for sponsoring the devices in this video. Thank you so much, Jatin. Really appreciate it. If you guys found this video educational and want to follow us as we explore more about Samsung DeX and other nifty mobile features, then please subscribe to this channel and follow the playlist and we'll hope to see you soon.